Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel if you're new, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better. Yeah, but I'm not so sure. And today we're going to hit up the poll winner. We had a community poll. This was uh, recommended by Colin G. Thank you, Colin, very much. This is Brave Little Abascus. Not sure how long the song is. I didn't check the time, but I have done a deep dive into the band and the lyrics. Uh, the band is from a little town in New Hampshire. Oh, look at that. Why does everything pop up while I'm recording? All right. So, uh, you know, little pop-ups that you have. Um, so I'm just going to listen to this uh, band from New Hampshire I checked out the lyrics, uh, pile, no pile, pile. So it's kind of about OCD and the overwhelmingness of the world. And I'm going to drink this coffee that's said to drink by June 23rd, but tastes fine to me. So if you don't see me for a few days, you'll know why. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, back to
So now a relationship that was totally meaningless and trivial is over. Sorry to get too upset. That hum and feedback. It's a long fade out. Oh, cool. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know if that was going to end, but I didn't care. You know, this reminds me of, um, and by the way, I think uh, I'm going to get another coffee. It tastes just a little off, but, um, this reminds me of a cross, and I mean this as a compliment. This sounds like a cross between La Dispute and Daniel Johnston, who I'm a big fan of. Because you got that out-of-tune piano and the real lo-fi and then just going crazy on the drums and a little bit of a lisp in his uh, singing style. So if you're not familiar with Daniel Johnston, he just uh, made tapes in his basement mostly in Austin, Texas, I think, and just self-recorded himself and then peddled the tapes at McDonald's where he worked. So, hey, Henry, calm down. It's my cat, also known as Video Interruptus. But, you no, know, I'm a big fan of, uh, of that. And I will say the lyrics and the music went perfectly together here, right? So what he's singing about and how he's singing, it feels so organic. It just feels like this is what I need to say. So, um, yeah, I loved it. Um, you know, it's a little outside my normal wheelhouse. I'm not a, a big fan of emo or screamo. Uh, it's not my favorite style, but this was as good as it gets for that style. I'm really glad that Colin recommended it. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just guitar, bass, drums, Right? No, I don't think there's any keyboard in there. Guitar, bass, drum, two guitars, I guess. Uh, just a standard rock lineup. But yeah, that piano was so unusual and everything so lo fi. It wasn't, I think the vocals were, were kind of what I expected, but not musically. And certainly that long feedback outro, that was really cool. That, in some ways, that was my favorite part of the song, was just that long outro. That was really cool. So thanks for joining me. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, hit that like or subscribe button. I'm going to give this, uh, I think I'm going to give it an A because, like I say, it's a little outside my wheelhouse, but this is absolutely uh, where I would want to be with this kind of music. It kind of hit all the right notes tonight. So uh, I really enjoyed it. So thank you for the recommendation. Keep voting in the poll because we have a tie for runner-up. I usually hit the runner-up and I don't know which uh, one to hit. And for the person who recommended Lucas Graham, sorry, he's losing the poll, but I, I will give him a listen on my own. So thank you, everybody. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>